I'm here with Michael K. Obeng, who is the only black plastic surgeon in Beverly Hills and happens to be a fellow Ghanaian brother. How are you? I'm pleasant, I'm great, I'm Wonderful. blessed and highly favored. Wonderful. Um, so are you here for the holiday season or are you here for business? All the above. All the above. Uh, I'm here to, to celebrate your return. Uh, it's such a momentous occasion and also to accept an award, see family and work at the same time. Wonderful. Now with the year of return, you mentioned coming to celebrate year of return. What is it exactly about the initiative that impacted you enough that you felt it was important to be here? You know, as a fellow Ghanaian and knowing the history of the transatlantic slave trade, uh, it's just, you know, it's just uh, the right place to be, you know, a part of this celebration. Uh, of course, I know where I came from. A lot of a lot of my friends, a lot of people that I associate with, a lot of people that I call brothers, uh, they have never had the opportunity to see where they came from. And uh, I think this opportunity gave them the chance to come back home, to see and to witness some of the atrocities that was committed by the slave masters. And I think this is a story that should never be lost in translation. It should be retold and retold and retold and so that so nothing like this ever happens before. And that's why I lend myself to a cause like this. Awesome. It's wonderful to have people like yourself who are Ghanaian, living in the diaspora, you know, come back, visit, and encourage people who, like you mentioned, don't know their roots and come back here. What do you think needs to be done for us to be able to connect with each other, to collaborate on different things in business so that we can, you know, uplift our whole community, whether it's in Africa, Caribbean, America? What do you think needs to be done? I think the dialogue needs to continue. It shouldn't stop. A lot of times, you know, you gain momentum and people put things down. But, you know, this is a good way. You know, what you guys are doing, the year returns a good way for us to all connect, you know, to share ideas. And now, because of the, of the internet, because of uh, uh, technology, you know, it's so much easier to connect. You know, when I left Ghana in 1992, uh, for me to, my first time in Ghana, for me to make a call, I had to go to the post office. But now it's so easy, you can send emails real time, you can send images real time. But even when music hit, came, was released in the US, we did not hear it for weeks and weeks at a time. So it's much easier. So, you know, we need to take the initiatives. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, the government of Ghana has done a phenomenal job. I, mean, I got friends calling from different parts of Africa saying, what can we do to bring people to our country? You know, I just got a text about two hours ago. So I think Ghana needs to continue to do that. And other countries, other African countries need to follow suit, you know, and make it hospital and also make it very easy and hassle-free for our fellow, um, you know, Africans, you know, people of African heritage mm -hmm. uh, come back in Africa. As Kwame Kuma said, you know, you're not African because you were born in Africa. You're African because Africa is born in you. Mm -hmm. And that's what it, you know, that's what the narrative should be. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. And this honoree right here is one of the biggest stars of the United States of America. The only black plastic surgeon in Beverly Hills, my brother Michael O'Bain.